The spiral arms. Here we see a schematic of our Milky Way with our central barred structure and the spiral arms coming off of our central bar. One of the key characteristics of spiral arms is that this is where star formation occurs. And that's because of all the gas and dust that is found in the spiral arms. And so you get uh, this high concentration of gas and dust, and that leads to the star formation. Now with stars, the higher mass stars are the ones that die the fastest. They burn through their fuel very quickly. And because they have such a short life, they are born, they live, and they die just during the time that they are within this spiral arm. So that short little trip from one side of the spiral arm to the other is the lifespan of one of these high mass stars. Now high mass stars are also very bright. And so you have the brightest stars concentrated in the spiral arms. These also are going to be blue in color because they are very hot. And notice how blue the spiral arms are because they have such a large abundance of these high mass bright blue stars that it makes the spiral arms look blue and stand out. Now why is gas and dust concentrated in the spiral arms? Why does star formation take place there? Well, the idea comes from what's called a density wave. It's basically a region where gravity th slows things down. And in the case of gas and dust, where gas and dust get slowed down, that is kind of the trigger for star formation. Because when it gets compressed, that compression gives it that initial gravitational collapse it needs to eventually form into a star. So a way of picturing a gravity wave is like a slow moving truck. So you've got a lot of cars coming in around that truck that want to move faster. But because the truck is there, everything gets kind of piled up, gets concentrated. Now eventually, if we follow our blue car here, it gets past the truck and can continue on at the speed it was going before. But while it's next to the truck, it's going to be moving slower. Meanwhile, other vehicles start piling up around that truck. So there's always going to be stars piled up around that gravity wave. They're always going to be concentrated there. But each star will eventually move past and continue on its journey. So when we look at our own Milky Way, if we picture our looking down at the central bulge and the disk and our spiral arms. Sorry, my cat just decided to join in on this. So if a star is traveling along, it's going to slow down while it's in the spiral arm, but then once it's out of the spiral arm, it will continue traveling at its original speed. And then it gets back to another spiral arm, and it slows down. And then when it leaves, it's back 
to its original speed and continues orbiting around the center of the galaxy. And our Sun has done this. Our Sun has taken roughly 22 trips around the center of our galaxy. So we have moved in and out of the spiral arms a few times, uh, at least 44 times, depending on how many spiral arms you consider our galaxy to have. So the spiral arms, very densely concentrated material, lots of star formation, and it slows things down.